Hello everyone and welcome back to another a massive chess game by the magician from Riga. His opponent is Utut Adniato from Indonesia. He was a chess grandmaster from Indonesia, a pretty strong chess player. Later he became a politician. So this chess game happened in 1986. Mikhail Tal, the magician from Riga, has the white pieces and this is a massive chess game by Tal. D4 by Tal. Knight to f6, c4. E6, knight to c3, d5, exchanging the pawns, the game started pretty calm, there is nothing out of the ordinary so far, but later we are going to see something out of the ordinary, because this is a Mikhail Tal game, knight in, knight to e6, bishop back, c5, knight to b5, attacking the bishop, bishop goes back, takes, takes, and it is white to move. What would you do in this position? Well, Mikhail Tal sacrificed his knight. Knight takes on f7. What a shot by Tal. Sacrificing his knight out of nowhere. And this is also attacking the queen. The sacrifice is accepted. King takes on f7. Checking the king. Maybe Tal has a good compensation because this is attacking the king. And also after moving the king, bishop takes rook is a possibility. King back, but when you see a good move, look for a better one. This is the famous quote of Emmanuel Lesker, the great Emmanuel Lesker. What would you do in this position? Would you capture the rook? Well, Mikhail Tal is a rook down, and if capturing the rook, maybe knight takes rook is a possibility, and black is going to have two pieces for the rook. Well, Mikhail Tal played knight to c7, forking two rooks and attacking the rook two times. Rook to e6 and then simply capturing the rook. Well, in this position, I believe if defending the rook, then knight takes rook and then bishop takes rook is a possibility. So defending the rook and then capturing the rook, knight takes on a8. Rook to c6. Tal has no fear, he played rook from f to c1, not moving the queen, bishop to d7, knight to c7, and then Utut Adianto played knight from c to e4. This is the moment of truth. Well, maybe defending the queen comes to mind. If defending the queen, then knight takes bishop, and after capturing the knight, uh, rook takes knight, and that is losing for white. Probably losing. Mikhail Tal played. Bishop takes on e4, sacrificing the queen. Ooh. Rook takes on c2. And then capturing the rook. Of course, with the bishop. If with the rook, then capturing the bishop. Bishop to c6. Knight to e4, forking queen and the bishop, defending defending the knight. Bishop to c5, rook over. Mikhail Tal has two rooks and one extra pawn for the queen. This is actually pretty good for white, materially speaking. Bishop to d7, rook over. b6, knight back. Bishop to e6, bishop to e5, knight to e4. Targeting the pawn, defending and lifting the rook. King to h7, Doubling the rooks and Mikhail Tal is targeting the pawn. And in this position, black made his calculations and black captured the pawn. Bishop takes on h3. But Tal played the better move than capturing the bishop. He played rook takes on d5. If capturing the bishop, then queen takes on f3 and actually black is doing very well. This is very good for black. So in this position, after bishop takes on h3, rook takes on d5. And threatening the discover attacks to the queen, rook takes bishop and that's also attacking the queen. So queen to g6, black is threatening checkmate. Mikhail Tal played knight to h4, attacking the queen and defending the mate threat. Queen to h5, attacking the knight. Bishop to c2 by Tal, pinning the knight, capturing the knight. What would you do in this position?
Well, Mikel top plate, bishop to g3. And black resigned. <laughs> it is that simple. So let me show you the possible continuation. If defending the queen, then capturing the bishop. And this is actually Zugzwang for black. There is no good moves for black. So how to protect, protect this knight? This knight is pinned and there is no sensible defense. So you have to do something like queen to e8. But then here comes rook to e5, forking the queen and the knight. So after defending, check. And this is all over for black. As you can see, white has three extra pieces for the queen. And also white has one extra pawn. This is getting crushed for black. Black is losing. So this is why in this position, after Mikhail Tal played, bishop to g3, black resigned. And thank you very much for watching. And what do you think about this chess game? Mikhail Tal first sacrificed his knight out of nowhere. And then he sacrificed his queen. Incredible. So thank you very much again. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.